So we're looking at researching and planning here. Um, what you would have done with your experience is think, been considering like, well, what is the importance of this? Or what would I want to learn more about if I change this experiment? Or I wonder what would happen if we did this instead of what we did in the experiment. So that is what we're going to be looking at with our student experiment. So this is now the part of your assignment. What you're going to be doing is thinking about how those changes might result in um, changes to the distance traveled and therefore have a suggestion of why. And so that's like linking it back to your um, understanding of friction forces, air resistance. Once we do that, then we can experiment with it. So we can um, experiment your hypothesis, uh, more your research question to see if we can answer it as a yes or no. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at in this one is just making sure you've got a research question that is appropriate for your assessment. So if we, here is some of that information that we have. So there's a summary. In a real report, really, we would have like an introduction and that's like um, explaining the scientific concepts of what um, link to our experiment. So in our junior version of this or our year seven version, we've given you a couple of questions that we want. And these are the questions here. So help answer the following questions in the template. So they're from your template in your booklet. I just don't have a, a hard copy with me to show you. So it's define, describe and explain those three concepts. So what you're trying to do though with your research question is that you need to make sure my pen doesn't work here, that it is specific and relevant. So if we have a look at the way that these things are modified here, so these are the modifications that we've just like potentially could come up with. We need to think about those in relation to these things here, friction, air resistance and forces. So which one of those is not going to be um, linked to these things? So say, for example, this one here, the air and the gas in the balloon. Yes, it's a reasonable research question. Like, does the type of air um, affect distance traveled? It potentially could. But however, it doesn't really link back to what we're looking at, which is this friction and forces and air resistance. So what we need to do then is find one that is specific and relevant. So that's what we're looking for in terms of research and planning. So that would not be, even though it's a relevant research question, it's not specific or actually it would probably be more considered inappropriate because it's not linking back to our understanding of friction and air resistance. So that's what we're trying to um, include to there. So you can see here, this is from your um, criteria sheet. So explaining like where you get your marks from. So what we're going to be looking at is this process here. Sorry, I don't have my, my colors. We are looking at this part here specific and relevant or relevant and inappropriate research question. So to be this one here, we need to make sure that we have this clearly identified. So fill in your table in your um, planner, sorry, your template and how and explain how you're going to do those things appropriately in your assessment. So pause, fill that in. Righto. So here we go. So let's have a look at these two. So this is the part here where it says design your research question. Many of you already in my class, others might not be so much, um, have already done this. So if we have a look here, it says like the research question needs to have an independent variable clearly stated. So state the independent variable, what you are changing and the dependent variable. So if we have a look here, I'm going to... and the dependent variable. And then they're using two different colors here to explain and help you here. So these are the two research questions that we came from our original experiment. So if we have a look here, does the angle ramp affect the distance travel? So our independent variable in this case is the angle of the ramp. So we changed that because we had like a high, medium and low. Um, and in the case of um, the dependent variable, it's the distance traveled. If you want to be a bit more specific to the toy car. Now, the other one is, does the number of breaths, so that's the thing that we changed each experiment, affect the distance traveled? That's the thing that we measured each experiment. So see how I'm linking the colors up. So making sure that my research question has a very clear independent and dependent variable stated appropriately. Remember the independent is going to affect 
the dependent. It is an action. So when you're doing your checklist, have is your research question relevant to the um, concepts of force, friction, and air resistance? And does it include an independent um, dependent variable, so IV, DV, and is a closed question? Closed questions are yes, no. So does this have the, um, does the angle of the ramp affect distance traveled? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. See, yes, no. So again, there's your um, summary of those forces there. Make sure that your um, research question is specific and relevant and following the appropriate um, conditions to make sure that you are on your way to working into this area of your um, criteria sheet. Okay, great.